Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model this cool looking wood framing as an interior design detail. It looks kinda nice and it has this integrated light in it and it lights up the room so I thought it would be an interesting challenge to model that in Revit. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I have some walls and some furniture already modeled out, but this is just basically a blank room that we're going to use to add this element. And to start modeling it, we're going to first model the, the actual ceiling part and then we're going to model the wall part. And to do the ceiling part, I'm going to go here to level 2 and here we can see this floor slab on top and let's just create this wooden framing. So I'm going to go here to structure and we have this beam system but before I created that I need to load in some beams and if I go here to beams I you can see I only already have this steel beam but that's not right for this particular design so I'm going to go here to load family and I'm going to go to metric trying to find structural framing open it up try to find wood and let's use this one and choose any one of these, it doesn't really matter, and now we're going to go to edit type and to change this, basically this beam to the shape we need. So I'm going to go here to duplicate and I'm going to type in 30 by 120 millimeters and that's here 3 by 12 centimeters. Okay, so I'm just going to type in OK. So I'm going to go back to structure and use beam system or BS is the shortcut. So just type in BS for this beam system. Okay, and let's just create the basic boundary line. I'm going to select one of these and I'm going to create an offset of 120 centimeters on this side and on this side as well. And I'm going to bring this in a little bit so it, I don't know, it covers just this portion of the room, maybe this portion of the living room or whatever. So I'm going to go to this beam direction and as you can see these here lines indicate that the beam direction is going this way but I want it to go lengthwise. So I'm going to go here to beam direction and I'm going to just check this line over here. Go finish and as you can see we only have one beam. So I'm going to go here to properties and for this fixed distance I'm going to change this to 8 centimeters and hit apply and as you can see now we have a lot more beams and if you can't see those beams they're just represented by lines you can change this this detail level to course and now you can see actual beams and because these tags are kind of getting in the way I'm just going to select them just a second and hit delete okay so now we have our beam system and let's create a section over here let's just cancel out of that okay just place one section like this open it up and as you can see it's kinda in the actual floor slab so I'm going to select it and use the move command so just type in MV and move it from here to here okay so now it's on the ceiling so let's do this here part on the wall and to model that I'm going to be using a column so just type in CL for column well, column yeah CL and just go let's go back into level 1 and you can either place it here or I prefer going into ceiling plans and placing the column over here so just CL for column here we have our column and as you can see this is again a steel column we need a wooden one so I'm going to go here to load family go to metric, find structural columns, wood, choose any one of these, go OK. And now when I go into edit type, I'm going to create a new type that's 30 by 120 millimeters and I'm going to change this to 3 by 12. So I'm just going to go here to OK and we can't really see our framing that's on the ceiling even though we're in ceiling plan and we need to see it in order to place our column in the right place and to do that to change it to see it we need to change the visibility graphics so just type in VG for visibility graphics and here in model categories you just need to scroll down and find structural framing and make sure it's 
turned on, go apply, OK. And now we can see it, but again, it's only showing by lines. And by uh, changing the detail level to coarse or to, to detailed or fine, you can see it. So now we can create our columns. So type in CL for column, use vertical column and change this from depth to height and from unconnected to level two. Okay, so let's place the first column over here. And once you've done that, you just need to cre create an array and array it all the way to the, this end point or the end framing. But we first need to select all of these beams in order to calculate how many we have. And just by opening up this filter tab, you can see we have 33 of them. So just type in OK and escape out of that. Select the actual column and type in AR for array. Type in 33 here because that's the number of columns we need and type in here last or check last. Now you just select it over here and move it all the way here. Okay, now if we hit finish, we can see we have our columns. And if I go here, you can see and they're only showing by lines. So I'm just going to change this to fine. And we have our columns over here. Okay, now we only need to create the lighting family that we're going to be inserting over here. So I'm going to go here to Revit start menu, open it up, go new family. And I'm going to just go with generic face based. And here we're going to create just a simple family. So just go with reference plane and create. Okay, this is not straight. Okay, just one reference plane and I'm just going to put it at 500 millimeters, mirror it to the other side and let's create similar, create one over here. And for this distance, I'm going to go with 25 and again, mirror it to the other side. And the reason why I went with 50 millimeters over here is because if we go to the project and let's open up ceiling plan, for example, and use this measure tool, if we measure this, it's five centimeters or 50 millimeters. So if I go back into my family, this will fit in snugly in our framing. So let's just create the geometry. So go create extrusion rectangle, do this. Now do an offset of five millimeters, create something like that. And for the extrusion end, I'm going to use 60. So six centimeters. And if I go to front view, it looks kind of like that. So I'm going to go back to floor level. Now let's add the diffuser over here. That's going to make the light look a bit better. So I'm going to go create extrusion. And for reference plane, I'm going to pick a plane and I'm going to select this here face. And now if I create a rectangle inside of this rectangle and go finish, if I go into front elevation and I change this height from extrusion end from 60 to minus five, you can see it's kind of over here blended in the design. And here the material is very important. So I'm going to go to material, type in transparent, use this polycarbonate smoke and it's kind of ugly and this brownish color and we can change this to white. And now we can change the transparency to something smaller. So I prefer using something like, I don't know, 30, go apply. Okay. And we're done with the actual light. We need to add just the light source. So I'm going to go here to new family and let's find something like a metric lighting fixture, open this up, go into front elevation and drop this down to, I don't know, something like 20 millimeters. Go back to reference plane just to add some geometry so we can orient ourselves when we load this into the project, make it smaller, something like three millimeters. Go into front view, hit finish. And as you can see, it's kind of high. So just drop it down and I'll load it into the other family. So load it in family one. And before I do that, I'm just going to check here this shared. So make sure you check that and that allows you to basically turn the light on when rendering. So I'm going to go load into project family one. Okay. And just place it here on this reference plane in one corner, go into front elevation just to make sure it's at a correct height. Again, go back into reference level, 
select it and type in AR for an array. So we're going to go with 10 lights, make sure the last is checked, you select it in the center and you move it to the other side. So now we have these 10 lights and here again I'm going to check shared and now we can load it into the project. So I'm going to go here, load into project, project 1, that's the actual geometry and here we can place it. So first I'm going to go here to this section and just by hitting the space key we can turn it vertical and now I can place it here in our model. So I'm going to place one here, one here, place it anyway you find that looks nice, just create some interesting pattern, maybe one here on the floor or near the floor and maybe one up here. Okay, so let's go into ceiling level now and now we can place our components, just go CM for component and as you can see we can't really place it. So we need to go to place on face and now we can place it, just tap the space key to make it vertical and just start placing these elements. So let's place one here, and just place however many you find pleasing. Place one there and one here perhaps. Okay, so once this is all in place, we can create a 3D view. So I'm going to go to level one, create a camera, so open up this drop menu, go to camera and let's go from this corner like so, maybe drop it a bit, yeah, create it like something like that and as you can see here we have our lights, so that looks nice, maybe make it a bit wider, zoom in and let's try a rendering, so type in double R to create this rendering, go, I'm just going to be using medium, and for the lighting I'm going to choose interior, sun, or sun and artificial and I'm just going to hit render and as you can see our rendering is completed so let's just change the adjust uh, the exposure a bit so I'm going to make it a bit darker or maybe a bit lighter so let's change the highlights to brighter perhaps and let's lose some color so let's go to cooler yeah this looks better and let's add some a little bit more gray yeah maybe we can make it a bit brighter yeah okay so as you can see here we have this kinda cool looking rendering of our interior design you can see these cool reflections on the ground I think they look cool so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope it was quite useful thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day